Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. You never know what, what you're going to find here on the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. Right now, we're currently set up at Oak Mountain State Park in Alabama, just south of Birmingham. What a fantastic place! If you want to see that one, you got to go back to last Sunday to see it. Remember to click on that subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. Right now, we're done here. We were only here for one night. We're traveling west. Tomorrow, we're headed to, where are we headed to? Oh yeah, we're headed to Roosevelt State Park in Mississippi. That's right, a Mississippi State Park. We've not ever done that before. Come along with us as we explore Roosevelt State Park in Mississippi. We have arrived, Roosevelt State Park, Mississippi. This is li literally two miles, three miles off of I-20. And I gotta tell you, this park is empty. We're in site number 38. Now originally, before we do visit site number 38, we I, I reserved site number 37, this one, because it's a pull through. Now keep in mind, there's a sign down here that says this is a one-way street. You gotta go around the loop, which means you're pulling in from this side and all your, your power, water, and sewer, because it's a full connection site, are here, which means I need to turn around and come in this way or park with the coach way up here on the slope so that those could go on anyway this wasn't we decided this wasn't going to work for us and so we i mean the park is empty there's like maybe five rvs here today so we just called front and said hey we want side number 38 today's video is sponsored by campgroundviews.com the cutting edge technology you want to know what that site's going to look like they have got you covered with 360 degree views no surprises when we get there because of those 360 degree views so my hat's off to campgroundviews.com the link is in the description below i encourage you to go check out what they're doing and see if it's right for you all right, let's go back to what we were doing. Kind of set up weird. These, these, all these sites are set up kind of weird. Uh, well, this one is. If we'd have moved on over to the next one, it would have been closer to a more traditional site with the picnic table in front. But the fire ring would still be under the coach. And that one looks like it leans anyway. We're only here for one night, so it don't matter. Site number 38 is a full connection 30 amp site. Yep, and we're 50 amp, and I'm using my new Y, my new splitter. I can't, I can't say enough good things about that. Uh, although Yappy did trip the breaker yesterday trying to run two air conditioners in a microwave. And not gonna happen. Anyway, the pad is, Pretty, it's, it's very level, all things considered. Level pad, full connections, but the fire ring, now this is our picnic table. This is our charcoal cooker. And this is our fire ring full of garbage. 
I won't be won't be using any of these today. This actually looks like it belongs to that side. Anyway. If I if I do build a fire tonight, it'll be in that fire pit over there. There's a lot of lit cigarette, but a lot of litter. Cigarette butts all over the place. <laughs> Doesn't look like they have enough help. Or that the or that either that or the help does not care. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some wings for lunch and then we'll go see some stuff. <laughs> Roosevelt State Park, Mississippi. Campsite is right up here through those trees. So I'm in the in the day use area. The day use area. Nice, nice playground for the kiddos. Kind of a cypress swamp looking effect going here. So it looks like you can bring a, a small watercraft maybe. This is I'm not exactly sure what the intention is here. Maybe just fishing? Get your own little jut out? All right, let's go see some more stuff. A very nice long fishing dock. How are you doing? Hello. Looks like maybe there's more campground over there. Maybe this may actually be bigger than I thought. Great big water slide. Let's go check out a water slide.
Roosevelt State Park offers up a number of group pavilions for your family gatherings. Let's see if we can get a an overview of how big this slide really is. That's pretty big. That's what, three stories maybe? Two for sure. Ha, ah, so that'd be a fun time for the kids. Roosevelt State Park, so you might want to plan on spending a couple days here. Let's see what it costs. So here's your prices. Only the pool is four bucks, all ages, $11 for both the water slide and the pool. The water slide is closed Mondays, Tuesdays. Thanks from the manager. All right, so that's good information for you if you're coming out to Roosevelt State Park in Mississippi. It's a great waypoint stop. I mean, literally, it's right off the highway. And you can take a cool dip in the pool. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Roosevelt State Park, Mississippi. Not only do they have camping, but they have hotel rooms. But look out on the water. You, you can even go down and do a little fishing if you have a mind too. I don't see any cars in the parking lot, so we're, we're going to take a chance and look in the window. Yeah, it's just a, a basic hotel room. Actually, it doesn't look like... No sheet? I, I don't know if you have to bring your own or not. But if you're traveling east and west on 20, going through Mississippi, and you need a place to spend the night, you might think about paying a visit to Roosevelt State Park. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Now, this is something that you don't see very often at a state park. That's a game room. A couple pool tables. A crane machine. Air hockey. And a bowling game. This is by the park office. And, and the park store. That door's locked. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm starting to think this building was, this park, Roosevelt Park, I'm, I'm starting to think this state park was constructed by the CCC. I need to ask somebody. As the, the building methods like that, how cool is that? This, this is the lodge and the office, so let's see what I can find out. The park store is out of business. And I was wrong, this wasn't built by the, this building anyway, wasn't built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. It was built in the 80s. Taxpayer dollars. All right, but that is where you check in to the lodge and the, and the cottages. So let, let's, go see, let's go see some more stuff. Now, th th this may not have any bearing on your RV camping, but they've got a bona fide baseball field here. Maybe you can catch a baseball game. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So if you're interested in visiting Roosevelt State Park, Mississippi, now there's a lot of Roosevelt State Parks. That's why I keep saying Mississippi. If you're interested in visiting Roosevelt State Park and you don't want to sleep in a tent because man, it is muggy and hot, in the summer uh, and you don't have an RV and the 
hotel motel set up is not appealing to you, then they have some really cool little cabins. Big screened in porch. They do have restroom facilities. Looks like it comes with linens. I'm sure there's AC in there, but man, you got lots, lots of porch to hang out on. It looks like four beds. No. So lots of porch to hang out on. I don't know if they allow dogs or not. You can go to the website. I'm sure they'll they'll let you know. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Roosevelt State Park, Mississippi. So for for my boat ramp fans, now a pair, a, a, I guess the rules only apply to certain people because they're they're leaving a wake out there. But this is the boat ramp for the little lake here at Roosevelt State Park. I'm not sure why there's somebody skiing when it's idle speed only, but. Oh, from Memorial Day until Labor Day, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can, you can do skiing. Okay, so I won't be critical of those folks. Oh, there's disc golf here too. The, the 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 course actually starts back up at the spillway area. Uh, no place for me to park there though. All right, we're gonna go that way and find some more stuff. So at Roosevelt State Park, you have two camping areas, and on the map they're identified as the old, which is where we're set up, and the new, which is where I am now. So in the new camping area. You have a beach where you can go swimming, but in the over by the old is where you have the slide. So I guess it depends on what you want to be closest to. And eat, but even though this is the new camping loop, it it looks rather rather dated, but not quite. The sites are not quite as tight as they are on the other side, and I think there may actually be 50 amp over here. Most of them seem to be full service. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So as you're turning into Roosevelt State Park, you see this tower. I don't know if it's a public access tower or not. There's a, a yep, scenic overlook tower, Roosevelt State Park. And then there's a, the old tower there. So there is rain in the forecast but let's go see if we can get a view from the top of the tower at one point they had an elevator but it's closed so we got to do it the old-fashioned way one step at a time i'll just accelerate the timeline for this burning in my legs. So there is the commanding view of McDonald's. That would have been a heck of a lot more of a climb. This was more than enough. Trees are obscuring our beautiful view. All right, let's go back down and see some more stuff. Well, it's official. I have run out of things to show you here at, sorry, there's a, there's a RV. <laughs> I've run out of things to show you here at Roosevelt State Park, 
Mississippi. We've seen it all. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm liking it, and I'm kind of sad. And what I mean by, hold on, camera adjustment. So I'm kind of liking the park. It's definitely a great waypoint stop if you're traveling east or west on, on 20. If you have a real big rig, there's not going to be a whole lot of sites that are, are conducive. Of course, right next to me, that's a great one right there. You can fit a 40-foot RV in there, no problem. And it looks pretty level. Um, but as far as the, as the park goes, great, great waypoint stop. No question about that. As a destination, I guess it really depends on where you're coming from. You could spend several days here with your kids and there's stuff for them to, and there's with your kids and there's stuff for them to do in the pool. In, in, as far as the pool and the slide, the beach, disc golf. So you're, the kids can be busy. Uh, right now during the week, man, it's quiet here on this side. Now the other, the new campground, that, that was pretty busy. On this side, the old campground, I think there's five of us set up here. That's quiet right there. All right, I'm done. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be truly honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And remember to hit that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another episode. For those of you who have been following along, man, I, I cannot say it enough. Thank you. That's why I do what I, that's, that's why I get to see these cool places. Otherwise, we might be staying in a Walmart parking lot. No, Yappy would have us staying at a at a RV campground with full connections and Wi-Fi. Thank you. You saved me. And for my patrons, you guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?